We have a TV show here, Paul, um, called Love Island. I've heard of this. Right, everyone says that. Have you really heard right. of Love if Island? Paul you know, who, you know Love Island. Island. there's a, an actress in the film, Hannah John Common, yeah. and last night she was talking about Love Island. To you? Yeah, she's she's an avid viewer. Right, it's kind of really crept up on, on the, the country and people are absolutely loving it. So it's uh, how would you describe the show? It's a lot well, of very it's, attractive it's, people. It's lo- yeah, it's a load of attractive people. They the aim of the game is that they couple up, mm-hmm. uh, form relationships because that's um, a natural thing to do on television. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. it's, no, you know it's real. Yeah. Yes, all right. The feelings are real. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's um, the thing. And you watch them in the evening, settle down in bed. You see them uh, get up to stuff. They do all bits. Sorts. But yeah, when a couple have kissed or done more than that on the show, which does happen, they call it doing bits. So it's like, oh, yeah, so-and-so did bits with this person last night. <laughs> Are you with me? <laughs> I'm with you. You know, in comedy circles back home, uh, we say, oh, you guys are, oh, I get it. You guys are doing a bit. It means something very different. Yeah, oh, it's different. I okay. Think. Yeah. Got you. Well, listen, we've had this game on our show. We only started it last week, but people seem to really enjoy it. Um, based on the on the doing bits thing, we've been out onto the streets of the UK uh, we've never done this with a famous person. Mm, this no, is this is good. So just from this, so just from their voice and the description of them, uh, we'll get a kind of idea in our head of of, um, of who they are and what they do, maybe. And then they will be asked, "Did you do bits last night?" Just from the description and their voice, we have to work out between us whether they did or not. Okay, it's okay. coming down to being like a good judge of character in this one, purely by someone's voice. All right, you in now? Yeah, I think I'll figure this out as we go along. Yeah, I think it's best, <laughs> like with all our games. Okay, let's meet this person. Hello, what's your name? Jordan. And how old are you, Jordan? 25. What would you say your ideal Friday night out is? Where would you go? What would you do? Ideal Friday night, start at a pub, end at a club, and then a little cheeky cheeky, you know what I mean? <laughs> Did you do bits last night? Oh, come on. Yeah. Right. He's got yes written all over him, hasn't he? Yeah. Who calls it a bit of cheeky cheeky? Well, what is cheeky cheeky? Well, anyone that says he does a bit of cheeky cheeky is going to tell you yes, he did bits, even if he didn't do any bits. True right. that. And we've had this before, right? Yeah. On the, the last uh, round of this, we were like, yeah, they're saying that. So we're saying bits? I say yeah. Bit. Did you do bits last night? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did someone go liar in the background? You know what? I, uh,. I feel like I judge Jordan a little too quickly. <laughs> and I don't feel good about myself. And I feel as if I owe I owe him an apology. <laughs> okay, yeah. next person. Hello, what's your name? Siona. And how old are you, Siona? 25. What would be like your go-to meal for a date? <sighs> oh my god. Yeah. Spag bowl. Would you go on a date with Paul Rudd? No. 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 And here's the killer question. Did you do bits last night? I don't know why the would you go on a date with Paul Rudd thing is in there. But she answered that with such clarity <laughs> no, and speed. No, 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 <laughs> no. Um, it was very dismissive, it felt. Can we hear that again, please? Hello, what's your name? Siona. And how old are you, Siona? 25. What would be like your go-to meal for a date? <sighs> oh my God, yeah. spag bowl. Would you go on a date with Paul Rudd? No. I mean, it was really quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, she knew. Also, right away. Well, you know what? For, for, I don't want to go on a date with Siona. No. <laughs> yeah, have that, Siona. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Yeah. She yeah. sounds too busy for bits for, for me. She does. Also, her, her go-to meal for a date is, is spag bowl. Spag bowl. Do you know that? No, I don't know what spag bowl is. It's uh, spaghetti bolognese. Italian huh. dish. Oh, and it's, 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 like a, it's like a hybrid. like uh, Often. J- yeah, like J-Lo. VSA. Yeah, you know, swear or, or yeah, uh, brand Spanif- oh, yeah. Jennifer Lopez, yeah. J-Lo. Right. Spaghetti bolognese, spag bowl. Right? <laughs> Maybe she'd go uh, on a date with J-Lo to get spag bowl. I say, yeah, she did bits. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting it. Bits. Go on, Paul. Come on. And here's the killer question. Did you do bits last night? No. Oh. No. Unfortunately. <laughs> no bits. Definitely wanted to. Mm. No bits. All right, okay. Um, let's meet this person. Hello, what's your name? Alice. And Alice, how old are you? 24. And on a date night, what would be your go-to record to seduce someone? Oh, Wild oh Thoughts, God, Rihanna. Well. And here's the killer question. Okay. Did you do bits last night? See, if she's choosing DJ Khaled and Rihanna, Wild Thoughts, I'm saying bits. I'm, I am too. Yeah, Chris? Big fan of the song, Paul, are you? 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very favorite. much so. Out of all of the, all of, all of DJ Khaled's work, I know it's your favorite. Oh yeah. Well, I I mean it's a tough it's tough to choose. It's tough to choose just one. Mm-hmm. And here's the killer question: okay. Did you do bits last night? I didn't do no bits no last night. Yeah. Sorry. Why is no one doing any bits? I don't know. You're picking the, some in people that are yeah it, there was something about her voice it made me think that she uh, had recently done some bits yeah okay could you sort of hear it in there yeah yes we got one more hello what's your name Piers and what do you do for a living Piers I'm a project manager <laughs> and if someone you were dating brought out a perfume that was called sex panther would it put you off or turn you on it would turn me on and here's the killer question did you do bits last night <laughs> Just by odds, I gotta go. Yes, yeah. I agree with that. And if he likes Sex Panther, we know he can tolerate a lot. Right, exactly. Paul, you didn't do bits last night, did you? You were busy in Paris, right? I, I did. I was busy in Paris, oh, uh, not doing bits. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, what were you saying about Piers? Uh, even the name Piers, uh, he's, he's done bits. Right. Must have. Yeah. What, because he's called Piers. As Paul said, he's the last one in the list of no's, so surely he must right, be. Actually, I'm just yeah. going with that, with uh, the odds. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Did you do bits last night? I did do bits oh, last what night. Are chances? What are the yeah, chances of that? Is, like, you know how this radio thing works. Yeah. It's really clever. I, re- I really hope you end up using the, the bits thing in conversation at some point. Yeah, take it with you. And, you know? and maybe you'll hate yourself for it. Yeah. Well, it's an interesting thing because everyone where I'm from says, oh, yeah, we're doing bits. But uh, like it's I said, it's, it's, they're usually comedy bits. It's a running a joke. It's a different thing. It has a different meaning. Like when we say Fanny back home, it's something else. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Paul, thank you so much. Go and see this movie. Go and see this movie. The Ant-Man and the Wasp. And thanks so much for taking time out for us today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Paul.